I'm Malia, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, and we're here today with another Art in Action. Today we'll be mobilizing. So I know what you're thinking, how do we mobilize? Well, we need a few materials to do it. First of all, I've actually gone outside and selected a pretty nice sturdy branch, but you can also use like a dowel or some other stick for creating the base of the mobile. I've also got some fresh greenery here through my walk in nature of various sizes and assortments. And I think I'm gonna add maybe some shells. Here's a big sack of shells here, you can use these. Uh, we can also use some yarn, some twine. We can use fabric if we want to add to our mobile. And uh, wire is a good selection for wrapping things like shells. I also have some garden cutters. Scissors are great too. And really anything that you can imagine in your mind that's going to hang down and look really cool. People ask me all the time, Malia, why do you want to make a mobile? And the reason is simple, because they're fun. You can use almost anything, hang it from the sky and watch it move with the wind, uh, see how the light reflects with it. It's just a lot of fun visual stimulation. So depending on what you have around you, you can hang all types of stuff from this mobile. So what I have is, is my mom gave me a whole bunch of shells. And so I just wanna show you really quick how to wrap these. And you know, there's really not a, a right or a wrong way to do it, but if you've got any kind of twisty wire or even like pipe cleaners, that's really handy. And what I'm doing is just going from the small part to the big part of the shell and I'm wrapping it around several times, kind of as taut as I can. And then again, this is gonna be hanging. So what I'm gonna do is when I'm satisfied with the wrap, I'm going to twist this around a little bit. And then I'm also gonna create a little loop here and twist it like such. So this is a nice quick way that you can, you know, use wire to wrap stuff to hang from your mobile. And then I'm gonna tuck these ends here like that. So once you have a number of shells and things that you want wrapped, then we can start putting the mobile together. You're gonna notice that some shells might be a little bit easier to wrap than others and just kind of go with it, have fun with it. You might even have some shells that just don't want to be wrapped. And if that's the case, find another one. Also, if you want to use glue to glue the wires on, you can do that too. There's really no super right or wrong way to do it. But just as long as you're able to suspend some things from your cool mobile, then you will have something eye-catching, interesting, and fun that blows in the wind. If you want to add bits of fabric to your mobile, you can always sew some things together by hand if you want. Let's see if I've got something here I can do a quick sew. Also, if you want to save a little time, you could use paper and you can tape it together. You can glue it together, you can staple it. There's just so many things that you can do to prepare your things that will hang from the mobile. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna staple this, you bet. So now I have a beautiful collection of amazing objects that I'm gonna turn into my mobile. You ready? Okay, let's go for it. So now I'm ready to map out my mobile and again, there's so many different ways that you can make a hanging mobile. This is just one of many different ways that you can do it. So I'm gonna be using different types of threads and I think I'm gonna start with some of this hemp just for fun. I'm gonna cut off a little bit here, maybe like a good one or two arms length and I'm going to attach it to the top of the of the stick that I've chosen here. So there's different ways that you can attach it. I'm gonna do mine like this here where I just have a loop and I slide it right through and I fix it that way. So you can add your first string like that here. And I'm gonna add a couple more just for fun, why not? 
So I've got the base of my mobile right now and I can start adding things to it. Then after that, I'm gonna add a string at the top so I can hang things off of it. So for starters, let me put this through one of the loops here on the shelves. And I'm gonna put both ends through. And this is just how I'm doing it. You can really choose, you know, whatever way works for you. So I'm gonna add this other string here. And then I'm gonna think about how high I want it to be on the mobile. So it can be as high or as low as I decide. And what's my decision? My decision is it looks really good right here. And I'm gonna lock it in place just with a quick knot. Like that there. So you can continue to add more shells and it can be bent with the wire so it can hang in different ways. Let me add a few more shells here. And you can use one or two knots. I think I'm gonna use a double knot here just to make sure it's really secure. And these are just suggestions. You can really do it any way you please. Some people like to hang their mobiles up while they make them. That's also a cool option. And I've got this one here, which I would say is probably the least secure of all of my shells, but. And I like to do mine at varying lengths here. So now we've got some of the base elements of our mobile. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add some greenery to it. So let's get started in that process. I like cedar a lot. Cedar's so wonderful. I'm just gonna cut a little sprig of that. And I think I'm gonna cut another sprig like that. And then I'm going to attach this to my mobile. So where do I wanna add these? I don't know, you can add it anywhere you like. I'm gonna add mine maybe on the bottom here. And so if you're working with greenery, you can use the twine to tie it in a certain section. So what I like to do is create one knot like this, and then I'm going to add it to this section here. And there's really no right or wrong way to do it. As long as it sticks on there, you're good to go. And then I think to finish it off, I'm gonna add a little bit of fernage right on the top. And I'm gonna attach this on with a little bit of wire. And then we'll have a beautiful mobile that you can just liven up your life with. Oh, it's so ugly, it's cute. Mobilize. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. Until next time, it's art in action.